All right, good afternoon everybody. Matt Sloan here from Skyfire Consulting Headquarters. Uh, we're really excited to show you guys the Zenmuse X-T2. We just got our hands on one of them. Uh, first thing you notice when you take this thing out is it comes in a really nice case. Uh, not that the X-T wasn't in a nice case, but this is the same style case as the Z30, so it's very well protected, easy to travel with. I'm gonna open it up here for you. And there she is, the X-T2. This is the 336 model. Uh, it also comes in a 640 model as well, too. So I've gone ahead and already, uh, we've got our M210, I've gone ahead and turned it on and turned on my sentence controller. Uh, I'm gonna uh, take this thing out of the box and put it on here for you. It's gonna do its auto calibration there. So while it's doing that, I'll show you here on the uh, sentence controller, you're gonna use the DJI Pilot app just like you would if you were flying with your daylight and your thermal camera uh, on the 210. So we're gonna go into manual flight mode here and we'll take a look and it should be showing up here any second. There we go. All right, so right now there's a couple of different modes with the X-T2. Um, all of them are super exciting, but I'm gonna walk you through one by one. The one that we're on uh, right now is we're on, uh, we're on, uh, MSX mode here. Actually, oh, that was visible. There we go. Let's we'll kind of cycle through these here a minute. So this is MSX mode. This is the most exciting one. This is the one that actually mixes daylight and thermal. So what I'm gonna do, I'll turn the aircraft here a little bit. You can see uh, there's my colleague Ben in the office. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so one of the cool things about uh, having both the daylight and the thermal camera together on one, uh, one imaging sensor is this mixed mode. So you can actually see it looks like a thermal image, and then if you go into the settings here, you can change the gain, and it'll show you lots of different types of detail uh, on the daylight image as well. So the first thing you're seeing right there, that's actually my reflection in the window over there. You can turn it up to mid gain and high gain and really see the two images starting to mix together. So this is much more definition than we've ever seen on a thermal camera. Um, you can actually see things that are outside the window. Of course, we know that in pure thermal, you can't see outside the window. So this is the cool part about mixing daylight and thermal together. If I turn off the gain, uh, you'll see what a normal thermal image would look like, and you'll see just the reflection of us here in the window. Uh, so that's the uh, multispectral mode or MSX mode. If we go into visible mode, this is what the visible camera looks like. So this looks a lot like a daylight camera that you would normally use your X4S or whatever. Um, you do have zoom on it, just like you do with the XT. So X2 and X4 and X8 as well, even on the 336 model. And you can just tap those numbers up here and it'll change for you. Um, we can also go into picture in picture mode. Oops, keep hitting the wrong thing here. Uh, picture in picture mode basically blends the two, but not the entire screen. So if you wanted to look at one particular part of the image with thermal overlaid on top of your daylight camera, um, you've got the picture in picture mode. You can also um, adjust the angle of the camera a little bit there. tilt it down a little bit independently of the daylight sensor and you can move it around too so I can have it in the right hand corner there we can also do a side-by-side -side image so that's pretty exciting another thing we can do turn that off there uh, in the uh, blended mode in the multi-spectral mode you see this little box here and there's a little blue dot that's representing the coolest part of the image and a little red dot that's representing the hottest part of the image so I can actually draw this box as big as I want, move it wherever I want. And it's gonna show me within that box where the coolest part and where the hottest part are. Um, the other cool thing that you can do with this in the settings, you can actually turn on the temperature alarm. Uh, right now it's on and it's at 122 degrees. So if there was something in that frame that was 122 degrees, it would start alarming and it would tell me here at the bottom of the screen. So that would be useful if you're uh, you know, looking for a person doing search and rescue uh, during a fire scene. If you're looking for things that are over a certain temperature, you can set the temperature alarm. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. But you'll see it's still giving me the high and the low temp there. Uh, you still have isotherm mode, just like you did on the others. And again, you can mess with the gain and all the, all the different uh, settings in there. Um, one other thing, you can do spot metering as well. Um, so it'll show you the temperature right at the center of the screen. Uh, and uh, again, this is in the multi-spectral mode. If you hit that again, it'll turn into that box where you can see the high and low temperature. Of course, the original XT only allowed you to do spot metering in that one place. Um, we still have all the different color palettes. We still have all the things that we love about the XT1, uh, but now in this, uh, in this dual sensor package. Um, one of the things 
what's interesting about this camera is how large it is. So definitely if you're putting this on a 210, uh, with the, uh, you'd want to use the bigger batteries, the TB55s. Uh, but you can see it's about the size of the Z30. And uh, if you were to put the Z30 right up on there as well too, you're going to have two very large cameras there. Um, not only is that going to cause a flight time issue, but it may cause a balance issue as well. So you want to make sure that you're using the bigger batteries when you fly this thing. So that's our basic review of the X-T2. Uh, we're actually going to go out and fly it and see what it can do in the wild. Um, these are uh, slightly more expensive than the regular XT. So if you have any questions on pricing or availability, give us a call at Skyfire Consulting, or you can look us up on the, online at skyfireconsulting.com. We're going to sign off for now, so thanks a lot for watching.